All right, welcome back, folks. This is your this is Tommy from Street Four Connection, also with Sunset Flip Show, and you can catch it, catch us all online. Okay, uh, this one's going to be about uh, the TNA results and TNA news. I'm going to start off with the news first. TNA stars will appear on Family Feud television show November 1st through November 5th. Appearing on the show will be TNA wrestlers and versus the Knockouts. As teams are Jay Lethal, Mick Foley, Matt Morgan, Mr. Anderson, and RVD versus Velvet Sky, Lacey Von Eric, Angelina Love, Tara, and Christy Hemme. Uh, those that uh, have, have not seen the show before, Christy Hemme and Mr. Anderson were previously on air when they were with WWE. Okay, uh, that was uh, s uh, several few, uh, few years ago. Okay, on with the, re uh, the, wrestling, uh, the other wrestling news from TNA. Hulk Hogan was in the hospital today. Uh, he was getting some IVs. I guess he's in uh, so much pain. He's got he's got to be uh, put un put un under the uh, medicine. And uh, he was uh, the video uh, uh, appeared on uh, his YouTube. Tweetvid account, Hulk Hogan for real, along with his Twitter site. Okay, uh, he was, uh, if you could listen to the video, he was apparently watching Raw as, as it was going li uh, on live. Okay, on with the show. Okay. Complete. Uh, dark, dark match for, uh, this week uh, was Jesse Neal uh, pinning a name that uh, wasn't given out as they got a tryout for TNA. Impact opens with uh, Kurt Angle and Jeff Hardy in the ring, Eric Bischoff, and his assistant, uh, Ms. Tassmacher, uh, come, come to the ring. Bischoff gives uh, congratulations uh, to, to Mr. Anderson for winning at No Surrender, putting <coughs> before putting both Angle and Hardy for their uh, sudden death Double set and death matches at the pay-per-view. Crowd chance, that was awesome. Chant, Bischoff announces a three-way match for the TNA title that, that was on the actual poster for the month, but Dixie Carter inter uh, overrules him. Uh, she makes an announcement uh, for, uh, for the uh, taping, which will be taped next week because there will be no show this week because they know their competition will be against I believe it's uh, the New Orleans Saints versus uh, uh, the non-retiring quarterback from, uh, I think it's Minnesota. I forgot it. Uh, Brett Favre. Who cares? Okay. Uh, for, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. It was, uh, they, uh, she announced that the uh, Angle versus Hardy in a no-time limit rematch for later... Later tonight, and the winner will be wrestling Mr. Anderson at Bound for Glory. Samoa Joe versus Kevin Nash is up first. With Sting and Jeff Jarrett at ringside, ends up in a double count out as all four bra brawl outside the ring. Security finally break breaks it up. <sighs> okay, you're backstage. Madison Rain tells Lacey Von Eric to get get dressed as they have a have a tag bout later on. Okay, Jay Lethal pins Douglas Williams to capture the TNA X Division Championship. Post-match, TNA sets off orange and white and, and confetti in the ring. Lethal celebrates in the crowd. So there you have Jay Lethal winning and becoming the new TNA X Division title holder. Okay, next up is TNA Knockout Tag Team Champions, Hamada and Taylor Wilde defeating Madison Rain and Lacey Von Eric. Tara and Rain attack Lacey for for losing, but Angelina Love and Velvet Sky made her save, and Lacey left with them. So Lacey Von Erich is staying with the original beautiful people. Tommy Dreamer comes out alone and says EV2 aren't here tonight, and he's here alone. He calls out Fortune. Fortune comes out in suits. Dreamer says. He told his friends to stay home because he's tired of seeing his, his friends getting hurt and he's calling out, calling, uh, calling Fortune out for, for truth. Tommy puts over Fortune as a group, then puts over each member of Fortune one by one. Dreamer says he got Kaz 
his job in WWE, but Cass left as, as he was unhappy and went, went on to meet his wife in TNA. And for those that don't know, that uh, he, Kaz is, is married to Tracy Brooks. Uh, Dreamer puts over Matt, Matt Morgan and said he he wrestled Bobby Bobby Roode in, in Roode's WWE tryout match, but Roode turned down the job to stick with TNA. He called Ric Flair the ultimate hardcore person and says that the day Flair retires for good will be the saddest day in wrestling history. Dreamer then put over AJ Styles and said hey, Styles is the best performer in wrestling today. He offers Styles his hand and says that if the situation were was reversed last night, Dreamer would have done the same thing to him. Styles begins putting over Dreamer in the original ECW. Styles then says that if Dreamer was ECW and Dreamer wants to show him respect, Styles doesn't need his endorsement. And Fortune attacks Dreamer. Brian Kendrick hit the ring and was laid out as well as he tried to protect Dreamer. Security hit the ring and Styles told Dreamer that if he wants his, his damn truth, now we can have it. Fortune walks off. Brian, uh, Brian Kendrick took, took, took the mic and challenged anyone from Fortune to fight him right now. Matt Morgan took him up on the offer and for an impromptu match. Brian Kendrick pinned Matt Morgan. Morgan demands the match be, be started over and struck him, struck from the record books, but Kendrick doesn't, re, doesn't return. Backstage, Abyss is torturing and branding people backstage with a branding iron. He screams 10, 10, 10 over and over again. Generation of Me comes out and cuts a promo saying the TNA Tag Team Championship Chips are supposed to be defended every 30 days, but after what they did to Alex Shelley, there's no way that will happen. They demand Chris Saban come out and hand them the tag, tag team belts. Saban hits the ring and attacks him, but is overwhelmed and laid out. Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy is a long match. Ken Anderson comes out, comes out to do commentary. Brian, Brian Hebner is, is bumped ac accidentally, so Earl Hebner comes out to referee. Brian originally recovers, and there is a double pin. Referees argue over who won. So they say an instant replay, and there's no clear-cut winner. Bischoff announces three-way match for Bound for Glory, Angle, and Hardy Hug. And I believe that that's the end of the uh, taping.